I'm Steve Shamraz. Here are your TMJ4 News headlines. A new reminder that the pandemic is not yet over. The state reporting a record number of COVID related deaths, 120 in the last 24 hours. That pushes the total to more than 4,500 of our friends and neighbors since the pandemic started back in March, who will not be around to celebrate the holidays with their families this year. Testing is down statewide. Leaders worry infected people could be going undetected because they're getting too comfortable because of the arrival of vaccines. This is no time to let our guard down. In fact, this is sort of the final push, if you will, the next six months, I would say. Uh, I'd like it to be shorter than that, but I think the next six months where even if you are fortunate enough to receive the vaccination, you still need to be wearing your mask. You still need, need to be taking the precautionary steps. Milwaukee's main testing site at Miller Park will be closed for Christmas Day and on New Year's Day. Expect a push alert to your phone on Wednesday when the state's new contact tracing app goes live. The Wisconsin Exposure Notification app uses Bluetooth technology. It will notify you if you came in contact with somebody who tested positive for COVID-19. The governor says it's free and it's anonymous. For the second time this week, emergency crews had to rescue somebody who fell through thin ice. The latest happened Tuesday morning on Beaver Dam Lake in Dodge County. First responders used a hovercraft to get that man back onto shore. Now let's get the meteorologist Brian Goddard for a check of the weather. Warm winds picking up overnight tonight will keep our temperatures upper 30s to around 40 degrees. Our normal high is 31. It is going to be a warm, windy night and it's going to be a warm, windy day uh, on Wednesday. A high temperature of 50 degrees. We'll see a little bit of light rain in the afternoon as the cold front comes through. We'll see some light snow, just a dusting of accumulation. Wind chills near or slightly below zero on uh, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Some flurries and wind chills when you wake up in the morning to 10 below. That's a look at your forecast. Here's some more local news.